So moving on with the tree structure, we just finished the lower right leg tree and we want to continue it right up to the back of this character. I'm going to create a whole new layer in here. We'll start to call this tree base. It's important to work with the layers. With Mudbox, unlimited layers. Um, I know a lot of artists that will work with even one or two layers. That's great. Um, I know artists will work with unlimited layers. Take, take advantage of the layers. Um, you have full control. You can adjust the opacity. When we get into the painting there, you'll see the power of layers with, uh, within Mudbox where you can start blending and things like that. But for now, I'm creating a layer here for what I'm going to work on on the top here. And I'm going to switch back to my wax brush. Again, I'm keeping that kind of uh, tighter fall off on there. And all we want to do here, uh, pretty much the same thing as what we were working with um, previously on uh, our, uh, let me just undo that to show something here, on, on uh, the tree foot there. You'll see that we have these kind of loose root structures that are in on the base um, mesh. So I want to kind of bring some of this down to continue it forward along that base mesh root structure there. It doesn't have to line up exactly, of course, because we're going to change this quite a bit as we sculpt. But again, the basic idea still stands that we want to formulate or kind of rough in this structure, this root, kind of base root uh, structure. And a lot of these roots we want to continue down. I'm going to make some of these a little bit bigger as we go. And we want to continue them right down the back. Um, the same idea as what we were doing with the leg. Um, I want to actually bring the uh, the root structure, the tree-like structure here um, to inter interweave with uh, the other boulders and other roots and things like that. So we'll just keep defining these guys in here. I'm just varying the pressure on the tablet as I go here as well. I'm just roughing in this overall root structure as I go. And we want the roots to kind of be traveling in a bunch of different directions in here. Um, you can see that I've left this area quite empty up top here because after I formulate the root structure in there, I may want to go back and work in some more stone or rock or boulders into there as well. So start with doing some of these things here. Now with this, this tree here, I'm going to leave the base shape as it is right now as I sculpt uh, using my ambient occlusion just to show how the the overall definition is working up on the, the tree. You may want to start to maybe twist some of these effects, twist and kind of blend and overlap some of them in here as well. And again we're just working in some of these roots here, uh, build them in, have them kind of overlapping each other, and then using the inverse with the control start working in some little gaps or holes, things like that. Um, just kind of carving out some of these little holes. And then we can start to kind of define that a bit. Maybe there's a bit of kind of an eyelid around there. And we can start to vary the size of the wax brush as we go again to get these kind of overlapping structures on the root. And again the same idea is we'll just keep using this wax brush here um, by all means, use um, di the different brushes if you want. Um, as I said with the wax brush, you get that buildup of material effect happening there as you sculpt. So it's a good idea to at least start with your base structure with something like the wax or even the foamy. Uh, the wax is definitely going to give you that kind of overlapping material, almost like you're lumping clay over top of each other, over top of each uh, strand or piece of clay that you lay down. And I'll just keep working this in here. Now something that I want to do um, here we'll get to a little bit uh, later on is I want to work in kind of an interesting effect over top of his head. I want this root structure to carry up over top of his head and bring it right to here. We're going to leave it here for now because we're going to do something with this. I want to tie the roots in with his head structure here. So I want these roots to almost kind of feel like um, you know like a hand like structure that's going to be built out of these roots so that when they wrap over his head I want them to wrap in and actually grab kind of distort uh, the shape of his um, his face we're going to define this structure here a little bit later but I want these roots to be intertwined part of the head structure here as well and and kind of distorting that face and we're going to work that in later so I'm just going to bring this kind of to the edge here 
um, enough for now and then we'll, we'll grab this and define it a little bit more later. Um, I'm thinking of, of it kind of like a hand-like structure that comes in over top of the face and distorts that face and we'll start using some other tools in there to kind of help distort that face there. We'll start bringing these in. I've left around the head and the neck here quite empty because I want to work in these these base root uh, structures in here and I'll fill this with boulders and stones and other different um, little elements here um, later on as we go and then as I'm refining this base structure here I can start to kind of build it underneath these rocks here right leading some of these roots to underneath these rocks some of them right to the edge and then we can later on sculpt them over top of the rocks there as we move and this is fine here um, something we might want to do here let's uh, let's define a bit of a a hole in there as well just kind of work that out a bit just bring that in there a little bit define this up a little bit more around there and then I'm gonna actually use my grab brush um, the nice thing with the grab brush is it works as a really effective tool for moving geometry around moving the vertices around there just going to widen that up a bit and then we'll just jump back into our wax and continue with the inverse function going on there with my control key and we'll smooth that out a bit with the shift and I'm just sw swapping back and forth between control and, and my regular um, brush strokes as I work here to build this up and get a lot of that kind of overlapping feel of this kind of root, rooty wood continue some of these down and we want to start to really work these into the overall um, structures there I'm actually going to go a little bit wider with this guy here and bury it underneath those and we'll start to thicken up some of this as well to start to randomize the the overall shape of it. So if we rotate this around, start looking at the shape. Um, everything's kind of a little bit flat, so let's pull out some of this here. Make some a little bit deeper and thicker than others. And we'll really work this part up in here. We'll just kind of blend this, kind of continuing down, and we'll kind of blend this in here. So a lot of defining this the structure of this tree right now is just kind of getting a decent shape that we can work with later. So see, we're starting to define a bit of a shape here, give it some varying depth. Uh, again, with the control, um, one thing I'm going to do is switch my fall off, get something maybe a little bit sharper in here. This will do. Um, and then I can, using the inverse of it, I can cut into there a little bit. There we go. See, I'm just starting to work in a bit of these, give it some depth, right? Start to build some of these up. So you can see I'm getting a different fall off effect there. I'm getting something that comes out a little more narrow. And then along the top of the tree here, the top of the uh, kind of the crown of this this tree stump here Let me just work that in there we have this kind of open gap here so let's define this gap up a little bit here kind of define this edge a little bit and then using the back to the kind of blunt fall off there I'm just gonna carve that out a little bit really roughly I'm just gonna rough it in and then we'll switch to our scrape tool here as well. Just kind of scrape that out a bit, leave it kind of beat up a bit. That's fine. And then some of these little edges here, while I'm with my scrape tool, I'm going to kind of chisel those away a bit. And I'm kind of just kind of hammering down on the tablet a little bit just to kind of scrape or define that kind of aged um, effect on the the edge of the tree. And what we do is we go with this, you can see how soft the edges are right now. 
we're going to define that, but we'll sharpen these edges here as we go. But let's just um, scrape and kind of beat them up a little bit here. Just kind of carve that out a bit. So there we go. Let's scrape these edges up a little bit. Not too much. We want it to look like it's been weathered here for a little period of time anyways. But we certainly don't need to stick with the overall base structure that we're given there. We can definitely uh, deform or manipulate that to whatever whatever we want to go with. Just carve this out a bit. And then what we can start to do, if we want to define this up a little bit more, 